Welcome back to Mental Math. Today, we're solving for x in this equation, but here's the thing. The obvious answer is wrong. There's a trap hiding in plain sight, and our job is to spot it before we fall in. Before jumping into algebra, let's think about the domain. We need to know which values of x would make this equation undefined. We're dealing with fractions here, and you know what that means. We can't let any denominator become zero. On the left side, the denominator x minus 1 cannot be zero. So x cannot equal 1. That's our first restriction, and we'll need to remember this. On the right side, the denominator x itself cannot be zero. That gives us our second restriction. x cannot be zero. Keep both of these forbidden values in the back of your mind. With those restrictions noted, let's actually solve this thing. The natural move here is to cross-multiply and clear out those fractions. When we cross-multiply, the left side becomes x times x, and the right side becomes x minus 1 times x minus 1, which simplifies to x squared equals x minus 1 squared. And here's where the trap reveals itself. The tempting move is to just take the square root of both sides. If you do that carelessly, you might write x equals x minus 1. Subtract x from both sides, and you get 0 equals negative 1. That's a contradiction, and it might make you think there's no solution at all. But here's what we missed. When you take square roots, you need to account for both the positive and negative cases. If a squared equals b squared, then a could equal b, or a could equal negative b. So we actually have two cases to consider. Either x equals x minus 1, or x equals negative x minus 1. The first case is the one we already looked at, and it just gives us that contradiction. So nothing there. But the second case? That's where the real solution is hiding. Distribute that negative sign, and we get x equals negative x plus 1. Add x to both sides, and we have 2x equals 1. Divide by 2, and there's our answer. x equals 1 half. We found that x equals 1 half. Notice it's not 0 or 1, so it passes our domain check but let's verify it actually works by plugging it back into the original equation. Let's see if both sides match when x is one-half. Starting with the left side, let's work out that denominator first. One-half minus one. To compute this, we need a common denominator. One is the same as two-halves, so one-half minus two-halves gives us negative one-half. Plugging that back in, we have 1 half divided by negative 1 half. A number divided by its negative is always negative 1. Now for the right side, focusing on the numerator this time. We already know 1 half minus 1 gives negative 1 half. So we've got negative 1 half divided by 1 half, which again comes out to negative 1. So the left side gives negative 1, and the right side gives negative 1. They match perfectly, so our solution checks out. Let me show you one more thing, what this looks like graphically. We'll plot both sides as functions. The solution should appear where these two curves intersect. Here's the blue curve for the left side and the green curve for the right side. Notice they cross at exactly one point. Let me highlight that intersection point for you. You can see the x-coordinate is exactly one-half. It's a nice visual confirmation of what we found algebraically. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this problem, please give it a like and subscribe for more mental math challenges.